know what these numbers are? How are you? Or, or what, what each number refers to? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know. No. Hello everyone, I'm Omar. In this video, we're gonna provide a simple training of the type of plastic and symbol used. Basically, with each chassis a row triangle, there's a small number, which range from 1 to 7. The purpose of this number is to identify the type of plastic used for product. And not all plastic are recyclable or even reusable. There is numerous plastic that cannot be break down or even recycled. To find out, we will begin defining this type and their uses and the risk and the alternative available instead. Number one, PET, polyethylene terephthalate. PET is the one of the most commonly used plastic and consumer product. It is found in the most water or pop bottles and some packagings. It is interested for single use applications. Repeated use increases the risk of leaching and bacterial growth. PET plastic is difficult to decontaminate and proper cleaning requires harmful chemicals. Polyethylene terephthalate may leach carcinogens. PET plastic is recyclable, and above 25% of PET bottles today are recycled. The plastic is crushed and then shredded into small flakes, which are then processed to make a new PET bottles or span into polyester fiber. This recycled fiber is used to make a textile such as place garment, carpets, stuffing for pillows, and life jackets or similar products. Products made of number one PET should be recycled, but not reused. Use less PET plastic, consider switching to reusable beverage container and replacing disposable food packaging with reusable alternatives. For type two, HTPE high density polyethylene HTPE is a stiff plastic used to make milk jug, detergent, oil bottle, toys and some plastic bag. HTPE is the most commonly recycled plastic and it's considered one of the heaviest plastic forms. It's relatively simple and cost effective process to recycle HTPE plastic for secondary use. HTPE plastic is very hard wearing and does not break down under exposure to sunlight or extreme of heating or freezing. For this reason, HTPE is used to make picnic tables, plastic lumber, waste pins, park bench, pet liners for trucks and other products which require durability and weather resistant. It's also a popular material for recycled plastic raised garden pit. A product made of HTPE are reusable and recyclable. Consider placing your disposal produce bags with reusable alternatives. PVC is a soft, flexible plastic used to make clear plastic food wrapping, cooking oil bottles, teasing rings children's and pet toys, and blister packaging for myriad and consumer products. It is commonly used as the sheeting material for computer cables, to make plastic pipes and parts for plumbing, and in garden hoses. Because PVC is relatively impervious to sunlight and weather, it is used to make window frames, garden hoses, arbors, Raised bed and the trellises. PVC is dumped the poison plastic because it contains numerous toxins which it can leach throughout its entire life cycle. Almost all products using PVC require vision material for their construction. Less than 1% of PVC material is recycled. 
Products made using PVC plastic are not recyclable. While some PVC products can be repurposed, PVC products should not be reused for application with food or for children's use. To avoid items made with PVC plastic, consider replacing plastic food wrap with reusable beeswax wraps, plastic toys with reclaimed wool stuffed animals, and your PVC garden hose with a drinking water safeguard. 4. LDPE Low Density Polyethylene LDPE is often found in shrink wraps, dry cleaner garment bags, squeezable bottles, and the type of plastic bags used to package bread. The plastic grocery bags used in the most stores are made using LDPE plastic. Some clothing and furniture also use this type of plastic. LDPE is considered less toxic than other plastics and relatively safe for use. It is not commonly recycled, however, although this is changing in many communities today as more plastic recycling programs gear up to handle this material. When recycled, LDPE plastic is used for plastic lumber, landscaping borders, garbage container and floor tiles. Products made using recycled LDPE are not hard or rigid as those made using recycled HDPE plastic. Products made using LDPE plastic are reusable, but not always recyclable. You need to check with your local collection service to see if they are accepting LDPE plastic items for recycling. To cut down on the amount of LDPE that you consume, try replacing your plastic grocery bags with fabric alternatives and taking a clothes bag to your local bakery the next time you buy a loaf of bread. You can also replace plastic sandwich bags with platinum silicone alternatives, which are heat safe. 5. Polypropylene Polypropylene plastic is tough and lightweight and has excellent heat resistant qualities. It serves as a barrier against moisture, grease and chemical. When you try to open the thin plastic liners in the cereal box, it is polypropylene. This keeps your cereal dry and fresh. Polypropylene is also commonly used for disposable diapers, pills, plastic bottom tops, margarine and yogurt containers, potato chips bags, straws, packing tapes and rope. Polypropylene is recyclable through some curbside recycling programs. Recycled polypropylene is used to make landscaping burden stripping, battery cases, brooms, bins and trays. However, the five plastic is today becoming more accepted by recyclers. Polypropylene plastic is considered safe for reuse. To cut down on how much polypropylene you consume, opt for reusable straws instead of plastic ones, reusable for alter buttons and cloth diapers. 6. PS Polystyrene Polystyrene is an inexpensive, lightweight and easily formed plastic with a wild variety of use. It is most often used to make disposable form drinking cups, take out clamshell food containers, axe curtains, plastic picnic cutlery. Polystyrene is also widely used to make rigid form insulation and underlying sheets for laminating flooring using in home construction. Because of polystyrene is structural weak and ultra lightweight, it breaks up easily and dispersed readily throughout the natural environment. Beaches all over the world have a bit of polystyrene left in at the shores. An untold number of marine species have ingested this plastic with immeasurable consequences to their health. 
polystyrene may lead to styrene, a possible human carcinogen. Into food products, especially when heated in a microwave, chemicals present in polystyrene have been linked with human health and reproductive system dysfunction. Recycling is not widely available for polystyrene products and polystyrene is being reused more often. While it is difficult to find a recycler for PLs, polystyrene should be avoided where possible. To eliminate polystyrene from your trash, try a reusable coffee cup, compostable or reusable picnic cutlery, and stainless steel takeaway containers. 7. Order BPA, polycarbonate, and exon. The seven category designed as a catch all for polycarbonate and other plastics. Reuse and recycling protocols are not standardized within this category. Baby bottles, sippy cups, water cooler bottles, and car parts. BPA is found in polycarbonate plastic food containers, often marked on the bottom with the letters PC by the recycling label number 7. Some polycarbonate water bottles are marked as non-leaching for minimizing plastic taste or odor. However, there is a possibility that trace amount of BPA will migrate from these containers, particularly if used to heat liquids. Number 7 plastics are not for reuse, unless they have the PPL composable coating. When possible, it is best to avoid number 7 plastic, especially for children foods. To make it easier actually, this image has been designed to guide you to familiarize yourself with the common plastic made of these seven types. And it also shows which type can be recycled or not recycled. For this picture serves as a warning message to help you remember the characteristic and the risk of each type. So, first one, in fact, repeated use this type increase the risk of filtration and bacterial growth. So, a note icon with number 1, it has been placed to help you remember that this type is suitable for one time only. For type 2, it can withstand extreme heating and freezing and it's, it's considered one of the safest type of plastic. This type in number 3 is called toxic plastic because it contains many toxins that can leak out throughout its life cycle. For type 4, this type is considered relatively safe and therefore it must be used with caution when reusing it. Number 5, this type is safe to use and safe to reuse as well, as it forms a barrier against moisture, grease and chemicals. Number 6, the use of this type of plastic should be avoided as it leads to potential current singing in humans and because recycling is not available. For type 7, this type is not reusable and it is better to avoid its use permanently due to its impact on the environment and health.